So back on the 22nd, I took the time to record the uh, the moon disappearing. Um, this was, you know, 1.15 in the afternoon. Uh, I recorded for 45 minutes. Now I've condensed that 45 minutes down to 3 minutes. So this is running at 15 speed. Um, I shot this with the P900 so I could get a nice close view of it. I wanted to, to take my time and watch it disappear closely. Now keep in mind that in the ball model, uh, during the day, we're supposedly on the side of the Earth that's facing the sun. And now we've got, uh, this is like a half moon here. That should be between us and the sun. So it should be like a new moon. And at the end of this footage here, I'm, I've got uh, three different clips that I recorded with the iPhone where uh, I look at the moon and then I pan to the sun and back. And so you can see the orientation of, uh, of the sun and the moon during this. So watch this through. You'll see that the, the moon disappears well before it even gets to the tree line, which is still well before the horizon. So the moon just disappears. It didn't go over the, the curvature of the earth. It uh, was very well lit. The sun was, was up and, and blasting on it. And the, the angle of the way the moon is lit here is, is totally incorrect. So watch it out, enjoy. Now by now you should be able to uh, realize that where we once were able to see craters on that half moon, uh, all the definition is disappearing. Uh, the moon's becoming transparent. And it won't be long and it'll just disappear. Around this time, I can't see it with my eyes anymore. I'm only able to see it through the camera. Now this last few seconds here, I'm going to run at regular speed. This is where I, I zoom out. I'll zoom back in. But you can clearly see that it's, it's well above the trees here. And, uh, and it's disappeared. I, I lose it here. I can't see it in the viewfinder anymore. I know we can see it here in this footage, but it was gone. So go back to the beginning and look at how bright it was when we started. So when you're shooting with an iPhone, it's it's time and date stamped, and when you use uh, iMovie for assembling it, and you use the the date and time title, it automatically pulls the metadata. So th these are the times at which I shot uh, with an iPhone. There's three different clips here that, that give reference as to where the sun was and where the moon was.
So in summary, the moon is not a physical terrestrial place that you can land a rover on or anything like that. Uh, we've never been to the moon. We just watched it disappear. We went from, from seeing it to seeing it disappear long before it got to the horizon. So we're not on a spinning ball in a solar system traveling through space. The moon's not a chunk of rock orbiting the Earth. We're on a flat plane. And uh, I'll, I'll continue to record, but I really want all of you to go out and, and look for yourself and record for yourself. Once you record it yourself, you'll see what I'm talking about.